These are my Premier League Game Week 23 predictions and betting tips. If you guys haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave this video a like, and drop your predictions down in the comments as always. Guys, if you want to join our Sports Betting VIP Members Club, then make sure to go click that first link in my video description. You'll get seven days free to see if you like the membership, and you, then you can make your decision from there to whether you stick around or not. So without further ado, let's get in to that first prediction. First up, we've got Everton taking on Tottenham. Now, Everton are coming off a 0-0 draw against Fulham in a game that I don't know how it stayed at 0-0 because there were 46 shots combined between Everton and Fulham. It's kind of ridiculous that neither of them took their chances. They both had great chances on each end, but a 0-0 draw is how it ended. Now, Everton currently sit 18th winless in their last five games and Tottenham are coming off a good 3-2 win over Brentford. Tottenham were more dominant with 70% possession and double the shots, but Brentford found themselves 1-0 up. Tottenham then struck back just after halftime with three goals in eight minutes. And that was the game, basically. 3-2 had ended. Tottenham now sit fourth with only one win in their last five games. Tottenham are the more informed team here, but it's always difficult to go to Goodison Park and get a result. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw here, and my betting tip is Tottenham to win or draw. <music> Next up, we've got Brighton taking on Crystal Palace. Now, Brighton came up against Luton Town away from home and got absolutely thrashed 4-0. Luton had them 2-0 down after three minutes, and then they just continued to outplay that Brighton side. Just a day to forget about. Brighton now sit ninth. That loss breaking their unbeaten run. And they're coming up against Crystal Palace, who are coming off a 3-2 win over Sheffield United. Came back from one goal down twice. Uh, Elise and Eze both getting goals. They now sit 14th with two losses in their last five games. Brighton would love to bounce back here. It might be quite tight. I'm going to go for a 1-0 Brighton win, but my betting tip is under two and a half goals. <laughs> Next up, we've got Newcastle taking on Luton Town. Now, Newcastle coming off a 3-1 win over Aston Villa. Fabian Shaw scored two goals for Newcastle, and then they found themselves 3-0 up, and then that was basically the game done. Yes, Ollie Watkins scored a goal for Aston Villa, but just a very, very good performance from Newcastle. That breaking their losing streak. They now sit eighth, and this is a perfect game to go back-to-back -back for them. Luton haven't been great away from home. At home, obviously, a bit of a different story. A 4-0 win over Brighton without a bio get a scoring a hat trick so a very very good day for him they are now outside of the relegation zone for the first time in the season they sit 17th with only one loss in their last five games but i think newcastle should get this done i think it will be tight luton are in good form I'm going for a 2-1 newcastle win but my betting tip is luton at a handicap of plus one and a half <laughs> Next up, we've got Burnley taking on Fulham. Now, Burnley came up against Manchester City away from home, a place that's always difficult to go to and get points, and Burnley found it that way. A 3-1 loss to Manchester City. Yes, they did get a goal in the 92nd minute, which is maybe a bit of a positive sign, but they sit 19th, winless in their last four games, and they're just a team that aren't... I think Burnley are going to get relegated this season. They just haven't shown much. They are coming up against Fulham, though, who they have a very good record against. They haven't lost to Fulham in their last five encounters and Fulham coming off that 0-0 draw against Everton with so many chances I mean just isn't a good look for that Fulham side they sit 13th now only one win in their last five games and we know it's always difficult to beat Burnley at home I'm gonna go for a 1-1 draw here and my betting tip is Burnley to win or draw <laughs> Next up, we've got Sheffield United taking on Aston Villa. Now, Sheffield coming off a 3-2 loss to Crystal Palace in a game where they led them twice, and then they just let, let Crystal Palace back into the game. Probably one of their better performances of late because they still sit in last position, winless in their last five games. Really not a bad performance from them, but they are going to find it difficult here against Aston Villa, who, yes, are coming off a 3-1 loss to Newcastle. They just got outplayed, and then it was always going to be too late to come back from 3-0 down. Ollie Watkins getting another goal. But they now sit fifth with only one win in their last five games. So Sheffield are playing an out-of-form Aston Villa side. I still think Aston Villa get this done. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Aston Villa win. My betting tip is Aston Villa to win. <laughs> Next up, we've got a big game. Manchester United taking on West Ham. Now, United are coming off 
a thrilling 4-3 win over Wolves. They went into halftime 2-0 up. Wolves managed to get themselves back in the game, scoring the equalizer to make it 3-3 in the 95th minute. And then Manu scored the winner in the 97th minute to win it 4-3 for Manchester United. Not like United this season. They actually found a way to win from a they were in a good position, put themselves in a bad position, and then they managed to find their way out. So some good signs there from Manchester United, who now sits seventh with only two wins in their last five games. West Ham coming off a 1-1 draw against Bournemouth. Bournemouth went up in the third minute, and then James Ward-Prowse put a penalty in the back of the net to equalize it in the second half. They now sit sixth unbeaten in their last five games and in the last six encounters Man United have won three and West Ham have won three I do think West Ham are in slightly better form but Man United are showing signs uh, that they are trending in the right direction I'm gonna go for a 1-0 Manchester United win and my betting tip is under three and a half goals <music> Next up, we got Chelsea taking on Wolves. Now, Chelsea are coming off a 4-1 loss to Liverpool away from home. They just simply got outplayed by a very good in-form Liverpool side. Now, they sit 10th. that breaking their three-game uh, winning streak. Wolves... Like I said, coming off that 4-3 loss to Manchester United, very impressive how they got themselves back into that game uh, with, that th with that third goal, fighting back to 3-3 and then just couldn't seal the deal. They now sit 11th, that break in their unbeaten run. This could be a very close game. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Chelsea win, but my betting tip is over 2.5 goals. <laughs> Next up, we got Bournemouth taking on Nottingham Forest. Now, Bournemouth coming off that 1-1 draw against West Ham where they went up in the third minute through Solanke. And then it was a pretty even game. I mean, either side could have won that game. Bournemouth going up so early, I think they will be disappointed that they conceded, especially the way they conceded with the penalty. But they sit 12th. They are winless in their last three games, but they are a team that have been in form sort of over the last eight to 10 weeks. Then Forest. Coming off a 2-1 loss to Arsenal. Arsenal absolutely dominated that game. 75% uh, possession. But then Forrest hung in there and Tawa Aoni managed to get another goal for this Forest side. They now sit 16, 22 wins in their last five games. Bournemouth at home are very difficult to beat. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Bournemouth win, but my betting tip is both teams to score. <laughs> Next up, we got the biggest game of the weekend. Arsenal taking on Liverpool. Now, Arsenal coming off a 2-1 win over Forest with Jesus and Saka both getting their goals in the second half. They sit third now, five points off the bounce or off the pace from Liverpool. And they've just won two out of their last five games. So not necessarily coming to this game with that much form. Liverpool coming into this game with all the form. A 4-1 win over Chelsea. Four different goal scorers in that game. They dominated the game. They're looking really, really good. Sitting at the top of the Premier League. Five points ahead of Arsenal and Manchester City. This is an absolutely massive game. And I do think Liverpool are the better side. They beat Arsenal a couple of months ago in the FA Cup. I'm going to go for a 3-1 Liverpool win. And my betting tip is Liverpool to win. <laughs> Then finally, we got Brentford taking on Manchester City. Now, Brentford coming off that 3-2 loss to Tottenham. They, they made it a lot closer than it was supposed to be. I think uh, Spurs definitely dominated that game, but you can just never count out that Brentford side. They now sit 15th with four, list, four losses from their last five games. Manchester City coming up against Burnley at home. It's a pretty straightforward task for them uh, winning that game 3-1. I do think, though, they will be disappointed uh, with not keeping a clean sheet, especially conceding in the 92nd minute. Look, Man City sits second, five points behind Liverpool, but they do have a game in hand. A win here and a loss for Liverpool and Arsenal could see Man City climb the table a bit. They're just hoping that Liverpool and or Arsenal drop points, which will be the case. And hopefully both of them drop points. That'll probably be the best case scenario for Manchester City. But I think City get this done. I'm going for a 2-0 Manchester City win. And my betting tip is Manchester City to win. <laughs> 